Hello everybody, my name is James and I'm one of the Drupal developers on the site. What we have here are points on a Google map that have been imported from different crisis RSS feeds. I'll show you the base interaction just like any other Google map. So right now we are importing from two different feeds, Ushahidi and Twitter. Uh, thankfully Ushahidi already had geolocated information, however Twitter does not. Uh, one of the developers at Crisis Camp Silicon Valley went ahead and injected this geolocated information into the tweets. And I'm going to show you how he did that. So this Twitter feed is called Haiti Tweets. As you can see, here are the tweets from Twitter. If we look at the XML structure that creates this feed, uh, you can see there's geolocated information right here under the tweet. Pretty cool. So with this map, we can easily aggregate feeds and sort them by different criteria. We can say we only want points uh, within the Ushahidi feed and of a type medical emergency. And as you can see, it only shows us that which we asked it for, and it displays you know, the results in a little more detail in the table below. So this mapping interface was all done in Drupal with no custom coding needed at all. We only needed to use and configure five different modules, CCK, Location, Feed API, Views, and GMAP. Right now we are constantly pulling feeds and the next step is to one, add more feeds and two, allow third party applications to push data to our site. Hi, this is Kiran and I'm going to give you a brief overview of the workflow process we provide to efficiently lead to assistance for disaster help requests. As you see before your screen, this is a real emergency help request coming in from Haiti and it says kids are starving and without water, kids sick and it's a real emergency case. So to deal with this we have a workflow and let's look at the workflow. We have four hierarchical user groups. Let's start from the bottom in chronological order. The first user is called the observer. And the observer is a person who puts in the distress signal. Now, I, now by what he does is just simply typing in the text we see over here. And this was created by the observer. And this comes into our system and it's created as a request of type of its status observed. The next user is authenticator. He takes in a observed emergency request and he reads the message, authenticates it, he validates it, and he classifies it according to a certain type. Now type can be different kinds. It can be a medical type, it can be a police or a security or a construction type. In this case it's obviously medical because uh, as we see it's kids are starving and they are sick. So he takes it forward and changes the status of the observed emergency request to authenticate it. And this one is picked up by the third user in the workflow, who is the qualifier. Now qualifier is the person who prepares a full report on all the supplies and the resources needed to respond fully to this distress. And he puts in further comments like this could be an emergency of highest priority type. And finally, we have the fourth user who is the dispatcher. Now, dispatcher looks at all the information provided by the observer, authenticator, and qualifier, and he knows exactly whom to contact to get in a dispatch team to the site immediately. Now, let us go back and look at the edit option once to see what information has been put in. So he says this is a critical priority because obviously it's severe of it's, its high emergency and he also says that we need an ambulance, food, paramedics, child health care personnel and from which hospital and also we have a history associated with the dispatch because we, have, we can have multiple dispatches to the same location. Going back to the workflow once more and he also knows whom to contact within that hospital and he specifies the doctor whom they should contact and once it reaches a dispatched
state, we know, the general public knows, or the people concerned, or the administrators knows that a dispatch team has been sent out to this. And if you observe here, a status that is authenticated, qualified dispatch, they represent at which point in the workflow we are present. And also, the users, these are actual place names in port prints, and this has been created for um, explanation purposes this way. Um, when we say a person present in this location called Militaire has sent out a dispatch team, has initiated a dispatch response action, that team might be sent off from somewhere else. Now, this is Militaire, so he's located in, say, Militaire location. But the dispatch team is present in Hospital Duke Canap World, which is somewhere else. It's over here. So this web-based system is enabling users present in different geographical locations to correspond and send out an emergency response team to the disaster request site. So this is how the workflow process is helping us in sending out a fully functional dispatch request. Thank you.